Howdy folks, welcome to the Wild West Crypto Show Daily Update. I'm Drew. I'm Brent. Hey Brent, let me ask you, I'm in red, you're in blue, do we have, should we bleed? Well, what? I tell you what, there were, there's a lot of red, and yeah. there's, there's some green, in fact so much green it kind of turns you blue. But uh, <laughs> okay, there I you tell go. you what, it, it's a real psychotic market today. All of the stores of value, yeah. you know, Bitcoin, gold, yeah. silver, oil, yeah. down, down, down. Really? Down, okay. down, down. The what I call the relative valued things, which are stocks and uh, S and P, Dow, uh, Nasdaq, they're up, up and away. Really? Yeah. Okay. And so um, just proving that the market is people acting out their neuroses with dollars, and so uh, you know, it's showing up pretty good today. So we what have we're been looking like. Yeah. Uh, we're down about five hundred and fifty points on Bitcoin. We've been down much lower than this. Yeah, wow. Uh, so we're actually if you go in and look at kind of the daily trade, you can see that we're back about the mid range of the day. So you know and it, it was breached twelve yesterday. Yeah. And it, yeah. it was down at eleven two sixty down. So so you know, there again, like I've told you for many years now, um that means three. Um <laughs> I've been telling you for the last three years, the problem with cryptos is, is it's thinly traded. Mm -hmm. it, it can be moved pretty well. Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, it gets moved a lot. Yeah. And a lot of times it was, they're moving it because they've got offline uh, wagers or investments over here. Mm -hmm. I call it wagers because yeah. it's not really real stuff. It's uh, the valuation of where it's going. And so they can move it down and make a lot of money over yeah. here because they're short or uh, have puts or whatever. So... Anyway, bottom line is the Dow, though, has made a new high. So it's at 29.099 right now. You know, that 29.7 range or 28.7 range we were talking about, it's blown clean wow. through that. Yeah. So now we've got all three of them in new highs. We've got the Dow at a new high, the S&P at a new high, and the NASDAQ at a new high. But like I said, for those people, the traditional money people, where are you going to put your money? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're not going to get any kind of interest payment whatsoever. So... They're obviously putting it in stocks, and we got some gyrations going in the gold. Gold's down to 1941. Of course, it was well above 2000 a little bit about a week and a half ago. Yeah. Silver's at 2740. That's down 70 cents. And oil's 4153. So it's down big, but it's still above that 40 bucks. So all of our fellow Texans will be at the beer and barbecue places this weekend <laughs> uh, doing just fine. There and you then go. The, and then the interesting thing is that December 21. It's up three hundred. Wow! No, okay. kidding. over thirteen. Yeah, yep. but everything else in in the in that range is down six forty five, six forty, six sixty, seven hundred. Yeah, so, yeah. So anyway, interesting. This is what makes it a, a market. <laughs> People are all over the place. You can find your deal. It's in there somewhere. You know? <laughs> well, you know, one of the things that may be uh, may be uh, you know affecting this whole thing is the fact that Ripple just locked a billion XRP from escrow. As, as the dollar loses value. Uh -huh. So, uh, you know, it's interesting how this is kind of playing out in that. And, and of course, you take a billion, and, and XRP was set up where they sat on most of their stuff. Their Part of their RippleNet deal was that they would unlock a billion XRP tokens ever so often in doing this. Right. And for liquidity and all that. And then basically, you know, what they're saying is, I mean, the, the, the guy running Ripple basically said, the pandemic is throwing so many playbooks out the window Yesterday's action flies in the face of decades of precedent. You know, signs point to the dollar debasement in the very near term. Well, and you know, I, I saw something, actually, I saw it on the news this morning. You know, valuation of the dollar, I think it's since 2000, you've lost 30% mm -hmm. of your purchasing power, yeah. which is why investors are, well, gosh, if the dollar's going down, you know, and the stock market's going up, I need to get to the stock market because at least it's going up yeah. and I'm saving some of my value. Um, but, you know, that market can go down real quick once the psychology turns. Yeah. And so I, if you're going to make that play, you better be nimble on that uh, on that sell trigger if you ask me. But, yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I just saw, you know, and that is one of those things. People are looking for a store of value that will maintain. Yeah. And, you know, you listen to Bo and, and uh, a lot of other folks are now saying that they, you know, all indicators are we're going to see a big crash of the, you know, the financial systems and all that stuff. And so people are looking for safe haven assets, which cryptocurrencies are kind yeah. of taking their place in all well, that. Well, and, you know? and, and so are certain canned meats and bullets, but you know. yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we got plenty of those. Um, <laughs> hey, so, so, you know, this, this whole, uh, uh, whole DeFi project that came out, the, the yearn, uh -huh. you know, and, yep. I, and, and so what's happened is there's been a bunch of copycats and, you know, kind of the title is <laughs> the mirage of emojis delivering million percent 
yields. <laughs> and so there, there's a new DeFi project called Hot Dog. There's also Kimchi Noodle and Harvest, and they all sprung up in the last day or two. And some of these things are claiming to offer uh, annual yields in the seven figures. That's right, over a million percent yield. The thing is, folks, after, you know, smartest people in the room will tell you that, that uh, you know, urine isn't worth any money. None of these are really worth anything. Yeah. But it's almost people sitting here uh, emulating these things, creating something. It's a Ponzi scheme that you're going to get caught in if you're well, not careful. Here's the question. How do you create a yield out of a chain letter? Exactly. I mean, that's yeah. That's, yeah. that's what some of these things are actually attempting to do. And, I, you know, and, there, and, and believe me, there are some ways to, to leverage and borrow against that store of value that's that's fairly legitimate. Sure. But some of this is, you know, these these people be getting off the rails over here. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is, man. It's it's getting wild. The thing is, there's enough people playing in this space that it's, you know, yeah. they're making some things happen. I'd just be afraid of it, folks. Hey, well, I, I used to play chicken with a screwdriver with my brother, where you know you put your feet <laughs> yeah, barefoot. Yeah, so yeah. that doesn't mean anybody else needs to be doing that. <laughs> Don't try that at home, folks. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>